nice. Everyone's in the shot. Hey. <laughs> we've had a pretty sh we've had a pretty good morning, but we just got in a big fight. So our energy is probably going to change as we go through this new vlog that we are about to hit you with. What do you want to say to, in to I intro? thought that was fine, Joe. I thought it was fucking fine. So, um, we're going to try something new here. Yeah. With this vlog, this edit here, we're going to compile a bunch of days together and talk about our experiences throughout the day. So, like, walk you through what we were thinking and what was kind of going on behind the scenes in our, like, footage that we have. The reason that we're doing a vlog this way is because we've been kind of feeling overwhelmed the last few days just with trying to edit, trying to keep the adventure rolling, trying to mm -hmm. record that adventure, and also money for all of that. And we retreated to the woods and we just kind of collected clips, but we collected them in a way where we both agreed that it would be way more new and exciting to show the vlog this way. So we're gonna try it out. I hope you guys enjoy. So the night after vlog 23, Aspen and I both um, went to bed that night and it <laughs> rained again all night. And we woke up pretty agitated, but we were dry. It was a beautiful morning. Yeah, good morning. The cans while we were out was, it was beautiful. So epic in like the morning, like sun too, cresting over the trees that were all around us. There was just like so much like green life everywhere. And it was, that was really magical. But guys, look at where we are. Um, we had to edit though. Like we had absolutely so much footage still. I had hours of editing to do. It was almost overwhelming to think about. So we sent in um, the library was closed because we did it first thing. We didn't eat breakfast or anything. Aspen was pretty grumpy about that and we ended up at well, a Safeway which has a Starbucks in it, which is probably one of my least favorite things in the fucking world. And to make fucking matters worse, it smells like fi fried chicken. My brain is fried. I have a fried brain. After we got done editing, we both had to take showers because it had been like a week, right? Yeah. Maybe, who even knows? Yeah, we were really thinking. We're broke, obviously, and we didn't have that much money, so <laughs> it was like three bucks for eight minutes. Plus, it's more efficient to take a shower with two people, right? So things got <laughs> a little bit funky. <laughs> So we've been going to the library a ton over the last five days. We've honestly been there way too much. When we got done with the library, we got done with showers. We went back to our spot and we were just really overwhelmed. We don't really know what we're doing in life currently. We just like don't really know what we're gonna do with the YouTube and being away from Anthony and Sierra like that we were going through a little bit of an emotional period as well, and we were in this rainy scene, so it was just kind of like darker. And our hope was slowly being sucked until we went on a walk and Aspen uncovered some magical mushies. Lobster. Lobster. 
<laughs> Obviously, I was very excited that we like foraged this magical fruit from the woods, and so I took it back and cleaned it up and immediately wanted to make something with it. Wild foraged fucking lobster mushrooms. So we ended up making like a, a lobster mushroom gnocchi. It was just a bunch of garlic and onion and vegan butter and mushrooms. And then some gnocchi sprinkled in there. It was, it was really good. Timing is fucking everything here. It's motherfucking mushroom. Okay, so I have just learned recently that lobster mushrooms can give you mushroom poisoning if you don't eat them within a certain amount of time after cooking them. So we have like a three to four day window to eat our leftover lobster mushrooms. So yeah, so I'm just like waiting for them to sweat out all their moisture and I'm sure most people know that mushrooms, like they cook down a lot. So. You you saw the big pile that I started with on this on the cutting board. It's gonna be like a quarter of that when we get done. Boom. Which is perfect. Mm hmm After now being out in the rain for days, we went on a morning walk the next morning, but everything was damp, everything was wet, the back of our truck was just a sopping mess. And Aspen and I were definitely getting on each other's nerves. Fuck this rain! Is it right? Oh. oh, Aspen! Come on, you're right there, Aspen. Like, you're right there! Fuck off, Joe! They won't eat it that close together. Could've, could've. He usually gets his first. You fucked it all up. <laughs> it's tough, huh? It's a hard shot to nail. Headed back up to our campsite again that night, and we're all cold and soggy and kind of like really fucking over being where we were. So I just whipped up a quick, like warm, like stewy dumpling thing. And there were like a couple of homies that were there too. There were like two other like trailers that showed up. Yeah, so it was just a guy named Mark who was really chill. At first, you know, we kind of got creepy vibes, but it's <laughs> always great to just. That's, that's only yourself that's getting creeped out in case you read it wrong, you know? So I immediately approached him and started talking to him and he turned out to be a really cool guy. Yeah, like a Florence local that had been there forever. That told us a bunch about mushroom hunting. The next morning we woke up to a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful fucking morning. Yeah, no plastic. <laughs> We're leaving it right here, dude. Yes. Were you eating poopy? What were you eating, Aster? Uh Huh? What were you eating? You. And um, we met Joe, who was the owner of that truck that was very similar to ours, and the trailer that is also very similar to ours. Joe also had a kayak, which we had, and so when we're pulling our full setup, we were like twinning with him. And so we hung out with them for a little bit, and then we tore off out of there, headed south. And we didn't know where we were going, but we knew that we were getting away from the rain. So I'm pretty frustrated because I like found an overlander spot and it like fell through. Like we can't find the road to the camping location that we had we had picked. So now we're gonna go try to scout a spot somewhere here. We are pursuing something. We're on a sandy ass road right now. We found a spot though. Come back here. Yeah, this is like tucked away. And then we proceeded to have a badass little beach day that kind of just let out that pent up energy of being stuck inside. The sun came out and it was amazing. Yes. I'm still like trying to find my balance. 
some like aspen again through like the sedation that I've been experiencing for the past while. But I'm feeling good, guys. Like I'm very happy with the decision that I've made. All I want to say is I think aspen has been running a little hot. Feisty. It's been a wild ride. We definitely had a great night and we woke up the next morning kind of over the camera. So we busted it out a few times. I got my fucking juggle sesh on and broke into so many new areas. That was fucking sick and juggling is definitely something I'm gonna keep um, nurturing in my life. Aspen and I just kind of it's some like intimate time with, with our little family. Yeah. It was something that we had been neglecting for a while and so it was a really good like reset. Um, the next morning though, I woke up and I was pissed. I have a few clips of us drying our stuff out the night before, or the day before. That's because we keep waking up in clouds, and although it's utterly beautiful, it is really cold, it's wet, and it's windy. And I wake up at five in the morning, I was pissed. Um, we don't know where we're going or what's happening. The back of the truck is a disarray. Everything's wet and sandy, so. So I woke up, woke Aspen up, and she got to see the sunrise for the first time in like 20 years. That's false. That is a false statement <laughs> entirely, but we'll, we'll roll with it. <laughs> Guys, Oregon is fucking stunningly beautiful. Look at that. We have this gorgeous view that we have here. It is because of clear cutting. It's everywhere. It's in like all of the paper products that you buy. It's this. It's this destroying this for our consumption. And it's really sad and disappointing and it makes me want to go and participate in some tree sets. I had my friend Maddie tell me that the largest carbon sinks in the world are the um, old growth forests of Northern California and like Southern Oregon. So we're destroying those guys and like shit's not gonna get better. So um, that's, how you feel about it. that's how I feel about it, seriously. Two years ago, I would never have connected the two by fours that I was using to build some rich ass person's house that I didn't agree with um, at all, the, the use of the resources and what, how they wanted a fucking, you know, epic staircase. This is the fi this is where it comes from. This is the land that gets fucked for those people to have that nice thing they want. It all comes from somewhere. And do we agree with where it's coming from? No, we don't agree. So, uh, we're on our way to Cape Blanco to check it out and maybe like walk on the beach for a little bit and have like a little morning like flow jam set. Look at this guys! Beautiful. What a, what a pull off, man. So we Let's successfully dried all of our camping gear on the truck in like literally like 20 minutes. Drying everything out. We scouted out these trails to head down to like the little cape. And we went down there and it was magical. Like we had the best time. Yeah, it was really epic.
only the only negative to that spot I'd say was the dead sea lion. That just fucked us up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that fucked me up. Death at the beach. So we got refreshed from the beach. We hit the road and we sent off to the library that was closest to that beach. Which was only like a, like five miles away. We used that Wi-Fi to find a camping spot and we sent off. But we got here, we, we made rolled it. up! Oh yeah, that's rolling up. Rolling up. Look at this spot, <laughs> fuck yeah. I love America. We end up at this super majestic spot on the Elk River. Uh, we had it all to ourselves. It was really nice to like have all the trees around us, be able to set up a slack line, just kind of chill out. Yeah, dude, we relaxed. Um, we relaxed from the editing and the stress. We cooked. We uh, made some dog food. There you go, Coda. <laughs> but <laughs> right as the sun went down, we got a little spooked. We were fucking terrified. And we just, things got really weird. We were like chilling outside. And Aspen and I both just like fucking saw a glimmer in the trees. And then the dogs heard something. And then I saw the glimmer again and I brought it up. And then we both just got hit with this hardcore feeling of like uncomfortability. Discomfort, Joe. It's called discomfort. And then we just like all got hit with this hardcore feeling of discomfort. I'm scared, dude. Fuck. All right. Update, guys. I think that that was a severe overreaction on our part. I think that we went like horror movie status up in that bitch and got all freaked out for no reason. So I think we're gonna retreat to the tent, right Joe? <laughs> hey guys, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good day. Good night. Good night. So we woke up, Aspen pounded out some dog food and some food for us. And we hit the road immediately to get to the library so we could do some editing and posting on YouTube. And they were totally cool, we used their Wi-Fi and we came back. Now, thank God YouTube can't smell. <laughs> because if you guys could smell us, I don't think you would be watching any of these videos. The the truck is really bad, and we had to clean the fucking fridge. It was fucking rank. Yeah. It was really stinky, so we ripped that bitch out. <sighs> and I cleaned the shit out of it. And now it's like a, a whole new world in the in the truck. As Aspen was cleaning the fridge, I grabbed the big boy line and I set it up probably about 70 foot, really saggy, as saggy as I could. Sag is swag. And I proceeded to practice. Uh, I would say the one thing that I learned from that lesson was just when it's that saggy, your line needs to stay directly over the slack line. Your hips is your main focus and keeping them over your feet and over the line is essential. And I feel like I really honed in on that session. I came back from riding my line to Aspen setting up her own line and we proceeded to flow again that night and it was a great ending to the night once more. Um, that takes us to today. Yeah. All right, well today we have just woken up. Aspen, you've made dog food? I made a big batch of dog food this time, not just like their little individual scoops. I just like cooked up a bunch of like green split lentils and threw some vegetables in there and now they have dog food for the next like four days. Cool, and I have been working big time on my line that I set up yesterday and I broke through so many walls. And here's a video. That's pretty much the end of the day and today well, guys we're going we are our plan is to now squat up pack everything get it in the truck and we are headed down 
towards San Francisco. The San Francisco is the goal, but we're going to stop along the way. We're trying to make it an adventure. We do have a mission, though. We're headed towards Ben in San Francisco. I just want to add also that before we squat out of here, I think we're going to take some river baths real quick because we stay. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Yes, Alvin! Woo! <laughs> How was that? We'll throw in the rest of today's clips in with this video, and then tomorrow we're gonna start a new back to regular vlogs. I love you guys. I hope you guys really love this edit and this style of a vlog. Tell us what you guys think. Seriously, give us some feedback. We want all the constructive feedback in the world. We have no, we're like, we're diving into new like territory here, guys. I'm like, what you guys have to say is really important to like where we take this thing. Exactly, like this only happen because people have been giving us feedback and we want more so we absolutely love you guys and we want you guys to we love you we love you and we'll, we'll see you, you guys later. later thanks for watching Babies, you guys are happy with the spot, right? <laughs> Just the regular daily blow, huh? Doing our thing. So are these guys. So we're gonna cap off the vlog. Um, it was a stellar day. We had a river bath. We had an amazing time. The dogs would agree. And the dogs are stoked, of course. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Good night. Love you all. See you guys later. <laughs>